Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Run Smith coming at you with another H1Z1 PS4 gameplay. In this gameplay, I get about 10 kills, ended up picking up an M40 and Dongan case. But anyways, I want to talk about some of H1Z1 PS4 tips and tricks and a few other things. Okay, so when you first land, always try to find the weapon first. And try to find a helmet and some makeshift armor as fast as possible. And don't forget, if you hear the weird radio sound, that's a military crate. The loot you gain from this is random. You can get anything from an AR to an M40 sniper. The crates that have the beacons range in three colors. Green, blue, and yellow. Green being the, you know, kind of the uncommon. Blue being the rare, and yellow basically being the exotic. So far, the only thing that I've been able to get out of a yellow one is an LMG, but hopefully they plan on adding more weapons in the future. Now, after you've gotten your weapon and your helmet and your makeshift, it's best to have your inventory organized. I usually keep in Hellfire and Riot Shotgun at the beginning. The cycle of the weapons is clockwise, so whenever you cycle your weapons, it will automatically cycle to the right. The way I do my inventory is I make sure when I have my Riot Shotgun out, my next cycle weapon is going to be my Hellfire. Therefore, I have both of my close range weapons right there when I need them. The next thing is a vehicle. Vehicles are very important, especially if you are a Russian type like me. And if you make it to the end, it's more of an auto rail than a battle rail. There are a four-wheeler, truck, jeep, and a cop car. All range from the least greatest to the best. And if you want to have a little bit of fun, press right on the D-pad to turn on the sirens as you chase down your victim. Now, so far, I've been enjoying H1Z1 on the PS4, and I honestly think this game is going to make a huge comeback. It all depends on how good they listen to the community and put out what the community wants. I don't know about you guys, but being able to play the closed beta, I learned of a lot of problems in the beginning. The smoke from the weapons, mainly the Hellfire, was very overwhelming. The recoil on the weapons was, slash is, still pretty bad. And in my honest opinion, I think that a lot of the weapons need a buff. Another thing I'd like to talk about is the servers and the queue issue. A lot of people wonder why it's happening and how to fix it. What I do is I close the application and try it again. And it always seems to work up after I try it once or twice. The reason why I think these problems are occurring is because on May 22nd, the release of the open beta, 1.5 million players got on the servers. And I don't know about you guys, but to me, that's a lot of people. So I think that's why they're having all these issues, guys. So don't give up on the game just because this is happening. It did just come out, and other games had their fair share of problems when they first dropped too. And I don't know if you guys new but proximity chat was implemented into the game but i think they took it out in daybreak or anyone that has ties to daybreak if you're watching this we want proximity chat back i think it was a big mistake for them to take it off because h1z1 just isn't the same without it i know you're probably worried about the amount of toxicity there was in the proximity chat but that's why in the pause menu there is an option to mute the chat well guys, with that being said, enjoy the gameplay, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for almost daily streams, and be sure to follow me on Twitch TV, we are Gamesmith. Peace out guys.